Hello again. Now the main story is here in London. The Mayor of London has slammed transport unions for refusing to come to the table today for talks aimed at resolving the tube strike. Boris Johnson said he couldn't understand why talks between unions and the London un underground needed to wait until tomorrow. Simon Harris has the latest on day two of London's tube strike. This is Westminster. The district line passenger looking slightly uncomfortable was London's mayor out to prove a point. Despite the strike, some tubes were running. But with two thirds of London Underground's normal timetable in tatters, many commuters were forced to join lengthy bus queues. Some chose to walk, others opted for Boris bikes, although in places they were in short supply. Today is the most annoying journey of my life. I've just spent 20 minutes walking all the way around. There were no bikes anywhere. Day two of the strike went ahead, despite a fresh attempt to settle the dispute. Late last night, both sides agreed to meet again at the conciliation service ACAS, but not until tomorrow. Why wait till tomorrow? You know, there we are, where we, the, our, our team is in the room, uh, there is an offer there, there is a deal to be done. Uh, I don't see any point in delaying till Friday, let's try and do it today. And the negotiating team will be there tomorrow, and we're going there uh, with the best possible way of trying to reach an agreement. But if we don't reach an agreement, the strike will start all over again next Tuesday. London Underground said its Oyster Card computers revealed 9 out of 10 regular commuters travelled today either by boat, bus, tube or tram. Simon Harris, ITV News, on the district line. Police have released CCTV footage of con men who used an elaborate hoax to persuade a pensioner to hand over a painting worth £100,000. A telephone caller who was later captured on CCTV told 89-year-old Ursula Overbury her bank cards had been used in a crime and that bank staff would visit her home. Later, thieves went to the house in South Kensington and conned her into handing over jewellery, bank cards and a valuable painting. And then we, you know, bound it up with a string and I helped him do it. They're so good at it. Mm. And at 6pm tonight, we'll have Ronky Phillips' full interview with Ursula Overbury. A new London Assembly report has welcomed statistics showing that police stop and searches in the capital have fallen by a third. But the report from the Police and Crime Committee also found some searches had not been officially recorded and called for greater transparency. Now let's take a look at the weather with Martin Stew. Hello again, very wet this afternoon with heavy rain around, staying like that into the evening. Bit of a damp start tomorrow, but then at least it will be drier by the time we get to the afternoon. For the next few hours though, this is the picture. Grey, thick clouds, heavy prolonged rain for all of us and the breeze picking up slightly. And it really stays the same overnight, quite windy and very wet for all of us. By tomorrow morning, the wind is picking up even more, so it is going to be a very blustery start, but at least the showers are starting to clear, so the rain pushing out gradually towards the northeast, clearing around about lunchtime, so by the time we get to the afternoon, things looking much drier and brighter with some pleasant sunny spells. Still quite breezy, but then getting very windy, quite stormy with heavy showers on Saturday. I'll see you later. Goodbye. That is all from us for now. We'll be back at six. Have a very good afternoon.